Dragon Slayer is Neverwinter's 23rd mod picking up right after the events of Valindra's flawed cast of the Scaleblight Mithril, now sending players on a race against time to preserve the weave and prevent dragons from destroying Faerun. With an all new campaign, hunt system, gear, and rewards, Dragon Slayer, well, I think the mod is going to speak for itself. So let's take a look at the Dragon Slayer campaign. Available starting at item level 18,000, Dragon Slayer comes with a weekly haul that can be completed in 7 weeks. A campaign store with gear from Epic to Mythic, including consumables, not to mention the modifier system which can be accessed after completing the intro quest. So how do you progress in the campaign? With a weekly cap of 80, Dragon Ridges can be earned by killing Ancient Dragons. After completing the series of intro quests from the campaign, you should have around 40 Dragon Ridges and your Dragon Hunter rank should reflect the amount of dragons you've hunted. All you need to do is group up with a party of 5, queue up for the Ancient Dragon, defeat the Scaly Bastard, and you'll be on your way to progressing through the campaign. It's literally that easy. Kinda like how I felt when it came to the campaign currency. Mon 23 Dragon Slayer, you could say has a lot of currency, but it's really the same currency, just a different name, and a different color, for a different dragon. <laughs> the currency will be located in your Riches tab, in Special Currencies, under Hunt Currencies. Dragon Scales can be earned by killing any dragon. A young dragon will reward you with one Dragon Scale. Adult and Ancient Dragons will always drop a random amount of scales that will need to be rolled on while providing an amount upon completion, so regardless you will be getting scales each run. The more difficult the dragon, the more scales. Dragon Scales are one of the main currencies used in the campaign store to purchase gear, and you'll probably have a lot of it. The elemental strands are a little bit easier to understand. Well, at least I thought so. Each dragon is tied to a specific strand. The black dragon will drop decayed, the blue dragon will drop crackling, the green dragon will drop verdant, the red dragon will drop charred, and the white dragon will drop frozen strands. These strands are used as a currency to purchase gear from the campaign store and to create and improve modifiers which we'll talk about in a minute. These strands can be exchanged for one another at a 4 to 1 ratio. You'll need 400 of any strand to exchange it for 100 of any other strand. Keep in mind that a young dragon will reward you with 30 elemental strands per run. An adult dragon will drop 3 sets of 15 strands, one per player which will need to be rolled on, while also rewarding you with 30 elemental shards upon completion. An ancient dragon will drop a set of 45 elemental strands that will need to be rolled on, and you'll also receive an additional 45 elemental strands upon completion. Elemental strands are everywhere, and you'll probably have an abundance of them. Dragon Hunt modifiers are exactly what they sound like. Modifiers that increase the challenge while providing extra rewards. You can also improve these modifiers to increase the reward chance. I won't go over every modifier here as this is an overview of the campaign. Modifiers have four difficulties, easy, medium, hard, and extreme, each with their own pros and cons. Each modifier can be purchased with a select amount of elemental strands and 10,000 astral diamonds. Call that an AD sync. Once a modifier has been purchased, unlike previous iterations, <coughs> mod 16, you will not lose the modifier after it's been consumed. You will have the ability to improve any modifier that has been previously purchased to increase the reward chance. Improving a modifier will cost additional resources. Now the reason why you want to use modifiers is because they will drop dragon parts. These dragon parts are earned when defeating a dragon while using a modifier. And these dragon parts are used as a reagent to purchase gear from the campaign store. So if I had to sum it up in a few short sentences, I'd probably say something like this. Dragon hunts are part of the queue system. You want to farm ancient dragons as much as you can, but if you can't, adults are pretty fine. Accumulate and save your elemental strands so that you can unlock modifiers which will make it easier for you to get the dragon parts, to get the gear, the mythic gear, and the new equipment from the campaign store that you want. This mod is all about dragons. Dragons here, dragons there, and to be honest with my first impressions of the mod, I like it, and <laughs> dare I say that it's been fun. So hopefully this video helped you out. 
If it did, drop it a like, leave a comment, join the Discord, and until next time, I want to thank you all so much. My city needs me, and I'm out. <laughs>